Phone fire, it's me, Mr. Marshall. I got uh, Charlie and Ashton here. And uh, Charlie, what do we got going for this tip series? Oh, right now we're doing soldering, and Ashton's going to show you how. Cool. So, Ashton, what are you going to do for us today? Uh, today, I'm going to take a bullet connector, just one of these simple bullet connectors that we put on ESCs, and I'm going to solder it to a wire here, just any wire that we found. And then I'm also going to show you how to take care of the soldering iron and uh, how to heat shrink the um, the wire to the bullet to make it look nice. Cool. Now while Ashton's getting this set up, um, it's important that you know to always have safety first, um, and because uh, these irons can get pretty hot. And then the method that we're using to do this is is um, pretty close to the correct. Close. Everyone's got their own little you know certain technique that they like to do for um, soldering, but um, this is the method that we use. And um, Ashton, go ahead and take it away. All right. So the first thing is I'm going to make sure we've got the soldering iron on here. Uh, this solder that we use, it, re it requires a little bit more heat than some solder we've used before, so uh, if you have a dial here, it's between 4 and 5, and uh, 1 being coldest and 5 being hottest. And then uh, to, keep, to uh, keep care of the soldering iron, usually before you start, you want to clean it off by getting the sponge wet and then just making sure it's all cleaned off and nice. Once, once that's done, we have our bullet point here, and actually, I'm gonna put bullet point this way. So that's this is the end that we want to solder. There's a little hole here if you can see it, and that hole is where I'm gonna stick the soldering iron tip into, and then we'll wait for it to get a little bit hotter. But uh, once it's hot, it should. To start the solder, yeah, it should just start to melt right in here. Oh, that's nice. <clears throat> yeah, I like these bullet connectors that have the holes on them. I think most of them... Most of them do. Some of them don't. And that sucks. Yeah, some that. of them just don't do very well. Cool. Let that set for a little while. Now, I noticed that the um, iron had a clean tip like it almost had solder iron on it iron on it was that was that was that mean do you do that on purpose or uh, I think is I think what you're talking about is the flux maybe or yeah. the, so the solder it's either the solder or the iron I can't remember has uh, is pre set with flux on it and flux keeps everything nice and together it keeps the solder from um, burning I think it is or yeah doing other things that, that you don't want it to do and uh, also, this just, it keeps it, it keeps the tip nice. Yeah, that is nice. Do you remember what that is called? Because I can't remember what it's called. Um, I can't remember that term, man. Yeah, it's I like don't remember. Tip in the, oh man, I, you guys know it on, um, those of you guys who are soldering iron, you know, experts, you guys would know what we're talking about. Yeah, but uh, we're just going to keep it like that. And then okay. I think this is, this is set, it's pretty strong. Uh, we could have used a little bit more solder, but other than that, it looks pretty good. So now I'm going to take a piece of heat shrink here. We get our heat shrink. Uh, lots of different sizes we have over here for lots of different wires. And so I'm just going to cut a little piece that can fit over, but not too much. So fit over the metal, but it's not too much that you're wasting a lot of heat shrink. And why do we want to have heat shrink? Uh, it, keeps, it keeps the connections insulated and it also makes it look nice. Yeah, and then also, you know, doesn't uh, you don't have two tips? Yeah, you don't know, have hooking yeah, together. It keeps it insulated. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to slide this over here, and for connections like uh, like the XC60s we have here, um, it's a good idea to put the heat shrink on before you solder the tips on, or else you won't be able to fit it around the connector here. So that's something that you can do with bullet points, but you can't do with other connectors. 
But now we have just the heat shrink on here and I'm just gonna take the end of the soldering iron and give that a little heat so that it can form to the bullet point. Perfect. Now while he's doing this, we're doing this the cheap way. Ideally we would have some sort of uh, yeah, heat, heat shrink gun. heat gun or yeah. something like that. But this is just an easy way to get past that. Yeah, it's fast. So for those of you guys who are starting off for a teacher or a student who, you know, get that that first set of equipment, you know, and, and all of a sudden you get your package of ESCs and they're not all connected. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, what, what do I have to do now? So, uh, you know, we recommend going to, you know, Home Depot or Walmart, get yourself a nice soldering iron and, you know, practice with, you know, different um, you know, pieces, take apart a radio, take apart something and uh, just kind of practice with soldering before you actually do your equipment. And then you guys can, you know, can go ahead and solder ESCs and solder the right connections on it and, and do all that and, and make it look a little Here's nice. the final product. It's just a nice, clean little bullet point. Perfect, dude. All right. Awesome. Well, Ashton, thank you guys. And if you guys have any uh, suggestions on some like uh, some videos that are else that are out there that helps, you know, give some good tips to uh, people learning how to um, solder, uh, by all means, leave it in the comments below so that uh, you know. Yeah, we're always learning. Always this learning. definitely isn't the right way to do things. And there's always easier ways to to go about making this uh, safe and and easy to use. Um, and then your skill that you learn, you're passing it on to. The other mm -hmm. kids too, right? Yeah, so. some seventh graders that'll be here next year. Sweet. Awesome. Well, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks.